welcome back to Age of Wonders Blind. I think it's time for the showdown between Lundar and Borak of the Orcs. Um, I'm going to try and attack this army that just got outside of the city to try and de do away with that one. I'm going to try to sort of surround him. And I'm going to try and hit tactical. And I wasn't planning on getting those guys quite so far down there. But I did bring Borak into the battle without the protection of his city walls. I think I'm going to send these guys north as soon quickly, basically, as their legs can carry them to sort of bring my armies a bit more closely together. I wouldn't want this section of my army to get into close combat with those, um, with the Borak in there uh, until I can bring the full force of my me down on them. Uh, I didn't want to split them up like that though. But I can't honestly be bothered to move like one unit at a time. These guys are going to, uh, let's see, yeah, they're quite far from being able to hit that guy yet. Uh, I'm going to bring the archers that are farthest away. forward as I can. And then sort of leapfrog the whole army forward. Um, like that. This brings them closer together so I, there's a bigger chance that my whole force will actually be able to fire on whatever one of whatever foes might get into range if they do. Get a lily on the hero. Um, okay, let's see. We can this guy's got you know, fire, lightning, poison, but not ice. Is it possible for me to cast, for example, ice shards at it? Nope, it's out of range. Fifty percent. So those spells aren't going to be as effective then. Um, which reduces the effectiveness of chain lightning, which would use and nice shards. Vaporize should probably work. It's not as good though. See what they do. The charging is plain and simple. Yep, they're coming straight forward. Well, that means I 
any luck. What the heck was that? What the juices was that? Some kind of spell he cost, but I've no idea what it did. Can you... Ah, panicked! Right, everyone's... That terrible morale, I see. So he's got some nasty magic. He's definitely not afraid of us. On the contrary, we're terrified of them, apparently. And this affects our... No, this didn't affect our entire army. Yeah, it did, pretty much. No, not the humans. But all the high men were affected. Don't they have, like, holy protection? Oh, reduce damage reflected by holy base attack. Right, but, like, the paladin, for example, is not affected by it. I wonder what um, undead actually does. Powerful damage. Sword, Orc Sword, Undead Sword, Undead Sword, Undead Sword, I wonder, can I hit them like far away like over here? No. That's, ah right, that's actually it. Right, that's a melee attack is what it is. resistant to it, but at least... Okay, not yet. We're gonna try and deal with this fire sprite first. Even though they're resistant to it, the fact that it can hit three units still leaves chain lightning somewhat interesting, <laughs> at least. Um, time to use the leapfrog approach here as well, I think. Nobody, you can. You know, everyone's far out of your range. That poor froggy here in the desert. It's not where you wanted to be, is it? Exception of uh, the paladins. Um. Not even the scout can actually reach. A sprite, but that's good because that means they probably can't reach us either. So if they simply stay put. I think it's leapfrog time again. Try and get them sort of. Yeah, that'll be, that'll 
could have used a hex grid. It's so nice to see where I'm sending things. Okay, the flying sprite can reach us and attack us now if you quite possibly, but if it does we should be able to shoot back at least. I'm trying to vaporize this sprite. Okay, that didn't do anything. You're not Im okay, you're immune to fire, lightning, and poison, but I didn't know you were immune to air magic. I really didn't know that. We've learnt that now. So that was one incredibly wasted spell. Let's see, are they gonna spread out or just blindly charge? They're just blindly charging. They're scaring us and then just charging after in like supreme display of confidence. Um, oh, did I actually forget to move my paladins? I think I did. Yeah, because there's one paladin that's left stuck all over there. And one standing in here. He can't reach them either. So we're going to need to... Hmm, that's annoying. Well, it seems like they're heading straight for Lundar, that's kind of their plan, so if they keep doing that, then moving in will be a good idea. Okay, you obviously can't shoot that far, but you should be able to start opening fire at least. Not so much to very great effect though, it must be said. Oh, that's a little better. Now you, come on. guys aren't as worrying anymore. Um, you guys obviously can't reach anything now. Oh, it's not that far away. Uh, not that far. They could come, come after us now. So, maybe what we'll do... You moved. You can't shoot anything. Not quite. I think it's time to leapfrog a little bit again. Actually hurt by something? That's a nuisance. Let's see if we can keep an elephant on the flank, maybe protect that archer a little bit. You guys obviously can still not cast because they're not in range until they get up here to that dune-like thing in there. Uh, 
let's bring you guys forward a bit, shall we? It's froggy, I think. I'd rather not lose it. I'm going to try and keep you up there somewhere. You can't get any further than that anyway. Well, you can, you can get in there. You've got first strike, which is kind of good. So we're going to put you in a slightly exposed position and then try and get our archers a little bit sort of not exactly behind you, but. One paladin on each flank of those archers. And let's see what, how they move this time. Okay, this time they're actually starting to move up on our lines in there. Undead. Well, they're mostly all of them are undead, aren't they? So it seems like this is the army we're going to need to bring down up upon them. This is Borak the Orc. This is an undead archer. These are orcs, actually. And all this stuff is soul. No, that's an orc as well. Oh, undead, 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 and undead, and this is an orc, and that is an orc. That's interesting because um, we want our paladins to engage the undead, of course, and not the others. Now, can our archers hit anything? Oh, only the undead. Pretty much. Well, if that's what they can, can hit, then that's what they'll shoot at. Hear the bones shattering there. Okay. How about you? No, you can't hit anything else either. You. You can actually hit that orc right there. So to do that, or to weaken the un. No, I think. Let's try and. Send in our paladins against their undead. I wonder, perhaps you can hit. Some, okay, this is an orc. This is undead. This is an orc. This is an, these are both undead. Can both of them? No, you can't actually reach that one, but you can reach that one. And you can reach both. So, what I'm going to do then, I think, is I'm going to try and set you to turn that one. That was pretty effective, but it didn't die. something? It seemed to. That was very bad. Well, let's try and get this human pike to finish off that bonehead right there. 
And then let's see, can our spells finally hit something? Yeah. Of course we don't want to hit our own trips. Should have cast that spell before we sent those guys in, of course. We're not gonna cast a spell. You can cast another sp No, you've already cast a spell, so you can't. I hope you can cast a good spell. Yeah. Not really. Vaporize. You can cast Ice Shards, but it's not very effective. Should have chain lightning those guys might have the chance. Now my paladins are in the fray. Um Let's try vaporize. Is it really as crappy as it seems? Try it. Yeah, that was better. That walk went straight out of the game. Okay, this scout isn't going to do much. And, oh crap, we could have... Those archers could have probably done something in there. Now none of them can reach anything, basically. That guy in there that we used the spell on could have probably been shot to death by our archers. We've been doing this terribly. This is going to be certainly by sheer weight of numbers and not by any kind of skill at all. Moving in there. Slightly dangerous, but I think we're going to have to do it anyway. Maybe you can attack something. Brings us, should bring our archers into um, range of their army. Hopefully, it'll also probably bring them. Probably means those swords are gonna start charging us. We're gonna start losing archers. Don't they're all gonna gang up on our, on our paladins, aren't they? Gonna try putting our elephant to some use. No, <laughs> God! I wanted to put the elephant down there. Give some protection to those poor archers. You've already moved, so you can't do much. You're a little hurt, so I don't want to send you headlong into combat. Let's see. Here they come. Oh god, they're archers and their swords. Slashing completely open our poor paladins and archers. Okay, that paladin miraculously survived with like one hit point. Same with that archer in there. Um, damn it. I was hoping these guys would be able to shoot down there now, but I suppose not. And these guys are way too far away as well, probably. No. Oh crap, we're gonna, gonna hit our own troops. And all of those guys are out of range. Holy cow. You've got another turn on dead. It's only 10% likely to hit our own troops, though. 
few. And then this Hyman Paladin with his one hit point can make a run for it. Meanwhile, these archers. Oh, come on, they're also going to hit their own troops. For heaven's sakes. Okay, you can avoid that. You probably can't. Yes, you can. Good. That means you can make a run, break for it, whatever you want to call it. And they're down to two units now. Namely, this undead archer and Borak himself, the bastard. But chain lightning down there. Guys mostly can't move. Oh, that was at the very back, can of course. Does that ever get anywhere? Let's try and get these guys. Closer. The pallet. The pikeman can stand there and take attacks if necessary. Come on! That was stupid. I thought they would advance since then. That's what they've been doing forever. But then, of course, I was actually in range of that stupid archer. Well, fine, you killed our pike. Shouldn't have let you, but you did. So there. You're not gun, are you? Not when you've got spell casting and archers. Oh, come on. It's just out of range. Oh, Mr. Archer bastard. Nope, he's moving. That means he's dead. Except that an undead spell is a complete waste of time because it simply fails, just like our arrows. Come on, what's wrong with this Archer bastard? It's a Finally! Now, what kind of immunities do you have? Not very much, actually. That's a nice spell. Or maybe not even that. But don't do anything now. That guy's gonna get it, isn't he? Stay there, isn't it? Um, let's just spell. I 
optimize shots as opposed to work at long distances. A single target such as Borak. Physical damage is six. We could try vaporizing costs less at least. Physical damage is seven. Should theoretically hurt him more. Well, it might if it hit properly, which it didn't. Interruption there. Couldn't be helped. Uh, something just came up. Sometimes things do, you know? Um, so we've got this pretty huge line of archers here. Against Borak, the hero, the orcish hero. He's basically the only one. Yeah, he's last man standing. Um, we've cast our spells already, I don't think. No, none of our cavalry or melee like units can get to him, really. I hope he's kind of out of spells. I suppose possibly the elephant. No, not even the elephant can reach him. So his movement through the desert is very slow. That he did, but he <laughs> wasn't able to get anywhere. So now, Borak, we've got you just where we want oh. you. Just stuck all between all my archers. Who will don't take any damage from firing their bows at you. Although, oh, you're quite tough, I'll give you that. Oh. But. by so many arrows. <laughs> See, Lundar himself can't actually chip in an arrow. Yeah, that wasn't much more effective though. No! Oh! Ouch, I hit my own man. That was stupid. But we got Borak. So on day 43, the Empire of the Orcs, led by Borak, was defeated. I lost a pike, kind of unnecessarily. Uh, this paladin is badly hurt. Maybe you can heal him up a bit. Cool. And then maybe let's, let's try your healing. Yeah, that's the most hurt. Let's see. I've got a, an archer in here. He is very hurt. So let's use a healing arm from that guy. Yays! So, the only thing we lost then really was that pike. 
I'm happy with that. I'm going to save a game. Uh, it's after the 443, I suppose. It took a long time. It <laughs> would have been faster to just, you know, <laughs> auto calc it probably. But right, anyway, to the victor go the spoils. It's time to. gonna take the city but we might need the uh, elephant to do so. Just to get in there. Undead and enslaved. Um, oh yeah and we got a crash that was almost predictable. Well at least we beat Borak. So, uh, I'll continue this turn in the next video then, basically. Uh, but at least the Empire of the Orcs is at an end. And then we'll see what to do next. But that will be in the next video. So, until then, boys and girls, see you later.